Karen Hubbard. I am a librarian for the Christian County Library. Welcome to today's virtual program, Culture from Your Living Room. Today I'm going to talk about some of the virtual offerings that are available online while theaters and other cultural institutions are inaccessible during the time of COVID-19. I will be talking about plays, musicals, operas, orchestral music, and the visual arts that can be accessed from your home or anywhere you have internet access. First off, I want to bring your attention to some of the library resources you can access online to view cultural offerings. You can visit the Christian County Library's website, christiancountylibrary.org. Near the top of the screen, you should see what says Research. If you click on that, it will take you to the list of research databases and digital content platforms that are available. If you scroll down, you will come to something called Access Video On Demand. Click on this to be taken to a page full of documentaries and educational films. Access Video also has a good deal of content from the world of theater. There are recordings of live plays and musicals, films adapted from plays, and documentaries about artists from around the world. All you need is your library card number to access these. If you're interested in Shakespeare, there are several excellent options here. Patrick Stewart in Macbeth, David Tennant in Hamlet, and an excellent Ian McKellen in King Lear all bring the bard to life for us in a time when great life theater is inaccessible. Beyond Shakespeare, there are plenty of more contemporary and classic American plays available. Death of a Salesman, Our Town, Driving Miss Daisy, and some nice documentaries on August Wilson can be found. If you like musicals, there are some great options as well. Hugh Jackman's London Revival of Oklahoma is available to stream, as are productions of Kiss Me Kate and Camelot. If you're a Stephen Sondheim fan, I recommend Six by Sondheim, one of the many great HBO documentaries that are available on Access Demand. Another great library resource is Hoopla. To access Hoopla, you can either find it on the same page on the Christian County Library's website list of resources by scrolling down, or you can simply visit hoopladigital.com. You can access content on Hoopla either through the web browser on your computer or on a mobile device by downloading the app. You will need it to select Christian County Library when you set up your account and you'll also need an email address with your library card number to set up your account on Hoopla. Once you have your Hoopla account set up, you can borrow up to four items per month on this platform. There are many ebooks and audiobooks available, but also music and movies. A couple of great Broadway classics can be streamed on Hoopla. Sunday in the Park with George is a wonderful Stephen Sondheim musical that premiered on Broadway in 1984 starring Bernadette Peters and Mandy Patinkin. It concerns the French post-impressionist painter Georges Seurat and the struggle to create something new. Another Sondheim classic, the original Broadway production of Into the Woods, is also available on Hoopla. Most movies and programs like this are available for 72 hours after you check them out. Now, additionally, there is a good deal of music that can be borrowed on this platform, if you're a fan of orchestral music, you will find everything from Mozart to Mahler. For opera buffs, Hoopla has everything from Puccini favorites to more contemporary operas like Jake Heggie's Dead Men Walking. It's an opera written in 2000 based on true events about a Catholic nun fighting to save the life of a man on death row. There are also many recent Broadway cast recordings that you can listen to on Hoopla. Uh, such as recent hits like The Book of Mormon, Hamilton, and uh, last year's Tony-winning best musical, Hades Town. It's a bluesy retelling of the myth of Orpheus. In addition to what the library is, has to offer, many cultural institutions are offering free content online while theaters are closed. The Metropolitan Opera in New York is one such institution. Each night, the Met streams an opera from its live and HD series on their website, metopera.org. The operas are available at 6.30 p.m. Central Time and are available to view for 23 hours after they first air. Some recent operas have included classics like La Boheme and The Marriage of Figaro, 
but also contemporary classics like Philip Glass's opera Akhenaten. Another great place to see the performing arts from home is PBS's Great Performances. The PBS series airs both on the local OPTV station and can also be streamed through their website, pbs.org. Twilight Los Angeles is a timely one-person play about the killing of Rodney King in Los Angeles in 1992 and the riots that followed. That is available to stream anytime. Beginning July 24th, a recent Shakespeare in the Park production of Much Ado About Nothing will be available to stream. July 31st brings Kevin Kline and a recent revival of Noel Coward's classic comedy, Present Laughter. If you're missing some of the live theater that is a bit closer to home, there's also streamable content available from local theater groups such as MSU's Tent Theater. Long-running Springfield tradition of summer stock on the campus of MSU was canceled this year. However, alumni and current students are making appearances this summer in a special series called Tune In to Tent that is available on MSU Tent Theater's Facebook page. Now, another Missouri summer theater tradition, the Muni, is offering streaming content. The outdoor theater in St. Louis's Forest Park has been producing musical theater and opera for over a hundred years during the summer months. However, like MSU's Tent Theater, this year the Muni has been unable to move forward with this season. Instead, they are offering what they are calling Muni Magic in Your Home, both on their website, muni.org, and their YouTube channel. The theater will be producing five variety shows through August 17th, that will be available to stream. The visual arts have also been less accessible during the pandemic. Luckily, many major museums around the world offer their collections online for the public to view at home. The Metropolitan Museum of Art offers their collection digitally at metmuseum.org. You can search the collection by the type of material of the art, its geographic location, and its time period. You can view famous works like Jacques-Louis David's Death of Socrates, the ancient Egyptian William the Hippo, and everything in between. The Met is an endless trove of art to explore online. If modern and contemporary art are more to your liking, the Museum of Modern Art, or MoMA, has their collection online for public view. Normally, the Midtown Manhattan crowds flock to famous works like Van Gogh's Starry Night, and Salvador Dali's The Persistence of Memory. But like so many cultural institutions right now, they're closed to the public. To see them from home, however, just visit moma.org and search the collection. Another great American art museum to visit online is the Art Institute of Chicago. Edward Hopper's Nighthawks, Grant Wood's American Gothic, and a Sunday on Le Grand Jatte the Georges Seurat painting that inspired the previously mentioned musical on Hoopla are just a few of the famous artworks that call this museum home. These and many others may be viewed from the museum's online collection at artic.edu. I hope you've enjoyed this look at some of the cultural offerings that are available to view online. There's certainly no substitute for art live and in person However, um, these resources are a great way to tide us all over until it's safe to return. Links to all of the sites mentioned in this video can be found in the video description. Check out these resources and let us know what online arts programs you have enjoyed. To find out more about other upcoming Christian County Library programs, visit christiancountylibrary.org forward slash programs forward slash virtual and make sure to check out the library's calendar of events for more information. Thanks for watching. Bye.